thousands of renters in our area could soon be forced out of their homes. The CDC's moratorium on evictions ends tomorrow. Yeah, and the president has already said that he is not going to extend it. CBS 6's Caroline Colburn takes a closer look at what that means and the resources available for renters in our area struggling to pay the bills. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning, Rob and Reba. The Virginia Rent Relief Program still has over $700 million in payments available for Virginia tenants, and this could cover rent for 115,000 people. This is something the Virginia Legal Aid Society is trying to get the word out about to those who are struggling. Martin Wegbright, who's the director of litigation for the Legal Aid Society, says it's unlikely that tenants who are behind on their rent will legally be removed from their homes on Sunday. That's because that's a very extensive process, so landlords must follow the court eviction process and to do that means that they have to wait a notice period after giving a proper notice, file an eviction lawsuit, go to court, get a judgment of possession, wait the proper period, get a writ of eviction, and then the sheriff and only the sheriff can evict the tenant after giving at least three days notice. Wegbright says it's unlikely that that has all occurred when the eviction moratorium has been in place. And he notes that most landlords are aware of the rent relief program and many have actually been filing on behalf of their tenants. But he says there have have been some cases where landlords have not cooperated with the program. And it's hard to imagine what that reason would be when the government is willing to, you know, pay thousands of dollars to you and you can come out completely whole. It's hard to imagine why the landlord would not want to cooperate with that. Um, but if they don't, we're prepared to go to court to argue that they not only should, but that they legally must. Now, all you have to do to apply is head to dhcd.com and present the, uh, the information that they ask of you. Make sure you file all of that. And then after you're accepted, it'll take about 45 days uh, up to up to 45 days to process that application. It's actually happening much sooner. And then your landlord will be paid within one to two weeks. So some good news for those who are struggling, but we know that there's going to be more needed uh, eventually. Robin Reba. Absolutely. Yeah, that can still help a lot of families. All right. Thanks, Caroline.